Lee, it's a, it's a tough afternoon. We're back in the relegation zone, but I guess this was a game where you maybe didn't think we were going to get a huge amount out of. No, but you say that, and then we perform like we did against Truro, so and took a point out of, and probably should have had three. So you always go into every game believing you can win. I have to say, I think Cheshire are outstanding side, especially at home. I think what what James and Muzzer put together here, you know, I said in the interview on Wednesday, they've really gone for it. You know, this year they brought Ferdinand in, they brought Omar Rowe in with the quality they've already had. Is I just felt that quality showed and. My disappointment would be, I feel like we're the architect of our own downfall at times. You know, we, we get a good result last Saturday, pulls us out. We, we drop points on, on Wednesday and then today was always going to be tough. But, you know, you look at and find moments in games and, and things that change games. I've had a couple of chances early. Then Joe's pulled off the save of the season from their keeper. Unbelievable. Um, and then we, we get caught from a, a, a long throw and we've all stayed in the box and not gone with runners and they slide one in and, and they score. And... You know, you think getting at half time one nil when we've had a, a, a header that's hit the bar, um, and then we come out second half and we said to him about we keep throwing the ball down the line and we, you know can we try and play a little bit more in the right areas and we've played in completely the wrong area. We've been caught. What I have to say is the lead up to the goal after that, the ball from Zach Joseph was was unbelievable. The finish was was just as good. Um, and that's the quality that they've got. But the architects have their own downfall. Um, the, 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 the positives, do I just think we deserved anything out of the game? No, but fine moments change games. If we go in 1-0, you never know. If we hit the bar and it goes in at 1-1, you never know. But I just felt that they're better than us. They're a very good side. And they've beaten Western at Western. They've beaten Truro here. They've beaten other sides here. They're a, they're a very good side. They deserve to to go ahead but our best spell of the game actually came after they scored and as you said we hit the bar before half time and we had chances and we could have gone in at the break level yeah and, and that's football and we just said there you know little fine lines of when Joe's had his shot you know a lot of keepers in our league wouldn't have saved that it was a great save um, when Gabby's closed the goalkeeper down he kicks it against him knowing how luck that would go in at the other end it goes off for a throw so little fine moments a little bit of luck that's not going our way at the moment but I see enough in the group I can't fault effort application what I can fault is quality and, and I felt that they they knew when to clear it, they knew when to play, but that's the experience they've got in the side, man for man, they've got an outstanding squad here and they'll go close this year, I've got no doubt. Other positives, uh, last Saturday after the Harrow game, Lucas came on for his first game and today he started his first game at the ground where he played his last yeah. game, his last start, and he had a really good hour I think. I thought he had a great hour and Sean Lucian had a good hour, we just didn't give him a ball enough second half, but in the first half I thought he caused a left back problems. Um, and I thought Gabby had a good half as well, but it was we didn't get no service to, the, to them. I thought Lucas was was a great sixty. Geo struggling with a, a bit of a cold flu symptom, so we left him out of the squad today. But I thought Josh Dewudu as well was was outstanding, and Keanu Robinson. I, look, I can't fault the players. I can't fault the effort. I can't fault the application. I fault the three subs. We had a plan that you know three subs. We we wanted to to bring him on with twenty thirty to go and have an impact. But you're out the game because we've given away a terrible goal to go to. 2-0 down if that's 1-0 you never know what might happen but you know there's lots of positives you know it's not sitting here and there's loads wrong with the side we know we can win games of football we knew today was going to be extremely hard I think I've been here as a player manager and an assistant manager probably over 15 times I've never won here like you know I hope they go up and we, and we stay up and they've gone because it just it just doesn't happen here for some reason it's one of them grounds but we've got to keep believing we've got to keep moving forward we've got a good group in there and I said to you there's 18 games to go there's a lot of points to play for and um, we've just got to keep pushing Adds a bit of pressure though to Tuesday, doesn't it? You're right, we do have a lot of games, but we need to collect points from those games. Yeah, listen, it, 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 every game's a big game, but you know, I won't be heaping pressure on the players. We can lose our next three or four and still get out of this. There's no, there's no drama there. You know, we only have to go on a run, which I believe the boys can get on. But we've got to be more consistent. As I said, here we had a great win on, uh, on on Saturday. We should have got a point on Tuesday night. We never or Wednesday night. Today was always going to be hard. We've got three home games. We've got to try and bring some points out of them three home games. And um, you know, but no, no game's easy. So you know, Beaconsfield will be really tough. They're, they've got a great front player. They've got players all over the park that can play with good quality. So, but we have to be at our best to, to get a result. And when we're at our best, I think we're a good side. But I just felt today was was experience and know how, and and they out experienced us. They out qualityed us, and 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 the balls that they put in channels, the balls that they play. And, and they've got a, a winning mentality that I think at times we, we, we lack and, and that's why we are where we are, we're the architect of our own downfall at times but 
I've seen enough here today that I can't fault effort, I can't fault application, I can't fault that they didn't play for this football club. And as I said to him in there, we've, we've got to keep moving forward because that, that will get us out of trouble in the end. But if we, if we down tools and start feeling sorry for ourselves, that's when the problems will start. There's a lot of football to be played. There's a long way to go and um, we'll, we'll give it a right go, no doubt. Cheers.